You're listening to The John and Heidi Show. Now, featuring the wit and wisdom of Dan Ferris. Okay, dudes, let's walk this sucker. On Sunny 93.3. Time now for The John and Heidi Show bonus hour with Dan Ferris, brought to you by SueEmpireJobs.com. New year, new career. <laughs> SueEmpireJobs.com. Why does that, that just kind of make happy I, when he yeah. says that? It makes me happy, too. I'll do it again. New year, new career. <laughs> All right, John just double dipped into new year, new career. I got to figure out what I'm going to say now that we're kind of getting done with the new year thing. Yeah, we'll come up with something else. Anybody have rhymes, any ideas? I'm sure. Just, your people call my people. So I enjoy, By the way, these two are my people. How scary is that? I enjoy flogging a dead horse, which is a great clip. That's like, <laughs> I do chew my cabbage twice. <laughs> Old people had the best sayings. Oh, they did. Uh, George Harrison would have been 78 today. Yeah. One of the Beatles. We got a little more. Beatles stuff coming up in just a moment. Uh, Jim Bacchus born this day. Yeah. Of course, was Thurston Howell on Gillian's Island. Oh, okay. And before that, he was the voice of the animated Mr. Magoo. Oh, yeah. I loved Mr. Magoo. Did a lot of stuff. Uh, Rashida Jones. Rashida Jones. I don't know who. Uh, She probably had her biggest breakout role, uh, reoccurring role in uh, The Office. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. I know and then co starred in Parks and Rec. Yep. Okay. Yeah, what yeah, maybe yeah. you don't know is she's also the daughter of Quincy Jones. Oh, wow. I did I not. Did not. Yeah, Leah Michael Jackson's biggest producer. I didn't know any oh, of that. Oh, there you go. I, just, I am so glad when I can teach you guys something. You I do. Just, you, you learn us lots of stuff. Yeah. And who doesn't love probably the finest, finest comedian ever in the world of comedy? And that, of course, is. Carrot Top. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. Did you see him when we were in no. Vegas? No. I think I must have just dreamed that. He's what's known as a prop comic. Oh, yeah. A little different, but and really made a name for himself. He's a 56 today. Uh, in case you don't know, Carrot Top is actually a gentleman uh, named Scott Thompson. I did okay. not know that. Well, there you go. We, this is awesome. I'm feeling pretty good about myself. You should. It was this day in 1751. <laughs> and again, sometimes I just go... Who wrote this down? <laughs> and where did it get saved? Because we can check the archives. 1751, the very first performing monkey is exhibited in the United States of America. Oh, wow. Oh. Admission price to see the tricky little Nickel. monkey is a penny. Oh, wow. I think I love monkeys. I, I would have probably gone back seven, eight times. I, I would have too. easily. I would have given him a dime and said, I'm, I'm going to be hanging out here all week. And here you go. 1836, gentleman by the name of Samuel Colt. Patents. Boom, boom. The first multi shot revolving cylinder firearm, enabling the firearm to be fired multiple times without reloading. That was a game changer. Nice. And back to the Beatles. As we mentioned, George Harrison would have been 78 today. It was this day, 1963, the Beatles released their very first single in the United States. What was that single, John? Um. I have no idea. It was... Um, Most folks assume it was I, Wanna Hold Your your Hand, which was huge, was but a different one. that wouldn't be till 64. Uh, she loves me. Last night I said these words to my girl. Okay. Please please me. I would have gotten that wrong. Yeah, me too. That's what it was. Yeah, Good it job, didn't, didn't start out huge either, Atlanta. I think initially like in the in the high 30s before it started traveling up there. So. I'll tell you, when I think of George Harrison, I always think of the song, I got my mind set on you. It's a great song. I uh, do like that song. But the video, have you ever seen the video for this? It is yes. the funniest video. <laughs> uh, like, what is that? George Harrison is an excellent writer, excellent guitarist. You never, seldom do you hear him mentioned. You know, people talk about Eddie Van Halen, Stevie Ray Vaughan, B.B. Oh, yeah. King, Jeff Beck, Jimmy Page. George Harrison Hendrix. was an amazing, accomplished guitarist. I was watching a special several years ago, and it was Chet Atkins, one of the world's greatest finger pickers oh, yeah. on guitar, and Les Paul, yeah. who basically invented the electric guitar. Yeah. So it's these two, two guitar giants, and all of a sudden they introduce George Harrison. Yeah. And he comes walking out with his little Gretsch Country Gentleman guitar, and those three started going, and George, on some levels, kind of took those two to school. I mean, he was really good. Absolutely. Really good. Well, there you go. Now, I know, and you know, we all know, we just bust a move here. We will do exactly that. It's the John and Heidi Show Bonus Hour with Dan Ferris, brought to you by SueEmpireJobs.com. 
Do you have a credit card? Is it a pretty good one? Here's how you can tell. Take the details of your current card, the interest rates, points and perks, and compare them for free to the available offers at BetterCreditCards.com. If we can offer you a better credit card, it could save you money every month. This will literally cost you nothing, and it could help you save money. Even if you don't have a credit card right now, you can still check it out at BetterCreditCards.com. Do it today. BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. Com. Time now for Ranger Dan's Critter Corner. Well, I'm rough, tough, and ready. I'm a heck of a man. Eat my beans and weenies from a frying pan. He's Ranger Dan. He's here. I'm Ranger Dan. Well, I love to wrestle bears and lasso ducks. Run over possums in my government truck. He's Ranger Dan. He's here. I'm Ranger Dan. Well, I lose all the campers and the animals, too. If you're picking on critters, I'm coming after you. He's Ranger Dan. He's here. Ranger Dan. Good morning, Ranger Dan. Good morning, <laughs> Ranger Dan. <laughs> I felt a little snappy salute out there. Well, it's Dan Sprimmer, the Ranger Dan Captain. You tell. It's good, good to see you there, Axel. Hey, hi, Dan. Ranger Dan. Uh, hey, hey, you know, we opened kind of a can of fun little little career whoop here just uh, yesterday. And I tell you what, I was I was remiss. We've been doing this show so gosh darn long with so many great memories. And I've, I personally know I've changed so many lives for the better. It's just kind of what I do. But Well, that one guy right. with third degree burns, yeah, he <laughs> changed his life. <laughs> occurred to me that we really had never discussed eagles on this program, so we started right. yesterday, and goodness gracious, my, I mean, eagles, there is, did you know there's like 60 different species of eagle? Really? I did not. 60. Hmm. 60. That is a lot. <laughs> and a lot of them are pretty darn tasty, but here's the thing. <laughs> We want to zero in primarily on the bald eagle because the bald eagle is a majestic bird. In case you don't know, that is, of course, the national symbol of the great Beautiful. United States of America. Yeah. Did you know, for instance, when it comes to bald eagles? Ah, boy, golly, if a Ranger Dan could read his own writing, we could get... <laughs> We could get through this segment without a whole lot of problems, but but here we are. Smack dab in the middle of goodness gracious, what do we do now? Actually, the bald eagle, did you know, an adult male can have a wingspan up to eight feet. Holy cow. Really? Yep, that's amazing. Sometimes you don't notice because they can actually reach an altitude of 15,000 feet. Okay. That's a long, that's a three grown, miles up there. A grown adult male, that's true. Think about that. A wingspan of up to eight feet. To put that in perspective, that is about twice as long as actor Tom Cruise <laughs> or Dakota News weather guy Phil Shrek. <laughs> This is interesting, too. A bald eagle has a total lifespan of approximately 20 years out in the wild. Okay. About 20 years. That just doesn't seem very long for such a great, fantastic, yeah. huge, enormous bird of prey. But, and this is important, little radio rangers, in captivity, yeah. a bald eagle can live up to 70 years. Oh, really? In the wild, 20. In captivity, up to 70. That's like five times longer. <laughs> oh, my God. In captivity as opposed to in the wild. So here's the thing. If you happen across a bald eagle, you're actually doing it a huge favor if you just take it home with you. <laughs> Raise it as your own. Now, if you're going to do that, it would be a good idea if you don't already, say, have cats or one of those little overpriced designer little yippy yappy little dogs <laughs> like Paris Hilton carries around in her Gucci purse. But on the other hand, if you've ever watched a video of a bird of prey? Yeah. And to snag one of those little dogs. Oh, just, I've seen the look, oh, of yeah. look of surprise on their little faces is yeah. <laughs> more, more than worth it. <laughs> so I'm really not seeing a downside there. So just forget I even brought that part up. Well, that's all the time we have today, little radio rangers. <laughs> old Ranger Dan's gonna gonna take some some writing classes and maybe get his glasses adjusted. <laughs> Ranger Dan out say it with me. Yes, yes sir. sir. I really need to quit drinking. I really need to give up drugs. It's not going to be easy, but we'd love to help. Addiction can drive away those who love you the most, and addiction can lead to the loss of jobs, relationships, and even your life. Don't let addiction tear your life apart anymore. Get the help you need to defeat addiction and put the pieces back together in your life. Learn more at timeforrehab.com. We want to help. Timeforrehab.com. 
That's time for rehab. Com. Time now for your morning coffee break brought to you by Kaladi's Bistro at the corner of 26th and Minnesota Avenue, Sioux Falls. Mr. Ferris, back in the studio. What do you have for us there, Dan? I had a chocolate skim milk steamer the other day at Kaladi's. Oh, oh that sounds good. I bet. Yeah, good. yeah. I'm still kind of living in that Jones beautiful little Savannah. warm bubble yeah. of that. Yeah. Mm. Phenomenal. Can we talk about hygiene? Please. Sure. Can we do that? Let's and just, do it. And let's not make it uncomfortable. We're, Where are you we're, pointing at me? What's going on We're here? all grown-ups here, yeah. right? <laughs> like I just said, we're all grown-ups. <laughs> uh, Wallet Hub, which uh, is a company that apparently just loves getting in everybody's business. They love asking stuff. Yeah, yeah, did the big survey thing, and it was all about hygiene in all 50 states. Okay. And let's rank them from clean to, mm, you might want to. Get the showers there, kid. Uh, this was done, and of course, hygiene changed. You know, when you think about it, kind of significantly when when the whole Rona thing hit. People oh, bet, yeah. washing hands a lot more, and blah 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 blah. Here you go. So they thought it might be kind of interesting to uh, to take a look at that. Actually, I said Wallet Hub. It's Best Life is oh, the name of this. Company. They do these too. Yeah, there's a couple. They of them. do. Now, apparently, South Dakota's prevailing casual attitude about wearing masks. Had a big impact on this. But then I look at this. According to the numbers, almost 82% of people in South Dakota did say that they cover their faces properly when out in public. Nice. 82%. But now listen to this. That happens to be the lowest of any other state in America. Did really? you know that? 82% is 82% the is the lowest. We rank number 50 in mask usage. Huh. At 82%. Well, that's awesome. pretty cool that I just, 82% is the lowest. Yeah, I thought that was uh, really kind of uh, surprising. Yeah. Now, when it comes to oral hygiene or dental hygiene, when it comes to South Dakotans' teeth, yeah. dental health index, blah, 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 South Dakota's rating is eh, 35 out of 100, which is second to last, barely ahead of Mississippi. Really? Isn't that interesting? There's a ton of great dentists around, well, Sioux Falls anyway. I don't know I what the rest this, of the... as I'm all surprised, knowing full yeah. well that up until this year, it was 2006 since I had been yeah, to the yeah. dentist, so I really should not be now surprised. To, <laughs> now I'm doctor, there all the time. It's like my DeWitt home away from home. At, uh, yeah. She takes good care of you. She so does. If, you, if you're needing a dentist, and it sounds like plenty of you are. Yeah. Apparently. Yeah. yeah. I want to go check that out. So here's the skinny to cut to it here. The states with the best overall hygiene, according to Best Life, from number 10 to number one. One, the top 10, Michigan, Minnesota, Maryland, Hawaii, Illinois, Delaware, Oregon, Massachusetts, New Jersey, and Connecticut's at number one. Hmm. Really? Now, based on the criteria that you just put out. Based though. on the criteria. Yeah. Now, would you like to know the worst 10? Yes, at number uh, 10 is Missouri. That's the 10th worst? No, we'll get to the worst in a moment. Oh. This would be number 10 of the world. Okay. Number nine is New Mexico, West Virginia at eight, Arkansas at seven. Sixth to the bottom of the heap is South Dakota, mm. followed by Mississippi, Alabama, Alaska, Wyoming, and the gnarliest state in the union, oh my goodness gracious, Montana. Huh. Montana. Really? So yep. this is based on mask usage. Some of this is based on mask Some usage. Some of it, and I would guess per capita, they look at well, how are the sales of soaps and everything else. It's just okay. overall hygiene. Don't huh. trust me, John, because you should know by now I don't actually research any of this. <laughs> Although I am an award-winning journalist. You a lot of these areas are also very... Yeah. Or, or not as densely populated as as some of the most when you get to the bottom ten, it's some pretty wide open stuff. Yeah, I mean, Alaska's so in there, Wyoming's in there. Mass yeah, mass usage is going to be less because you're not around a ton of people. And so, yeah, yeah. And again, the mask thing was interesting. This is a bit skewed. South Dakota dead last at mask usage, but we're at eighty two percent. Yeah, that's right. still eight out of ten people. So that's 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 a lot. Most people. Yeah, that's pretty darn darn good. And I, I don't that's know. Cool. Yeah, mask is a mask. I still like when I <clears throat> go into High V or City Home Building or whatever. I wear one of those. Uh, Rubber Richard Nixon masks. because That's just funny. That is never not funny. Well, that's just the way to do it. Yeah. I'm not a crook. <laughs> Sir, I just asked if you would like uh, paper or plastic. Mm -hmm. Whatever. <laughs> All right. Hey, Dan, thanks for the update, man. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I certainly hope we didn't ruffle any feathers here. Yeah, you, you're, yeah. Just, you're just good. It's the uh, morning coffee break brought to you by Kaladi's Bistro on the corner of 26th and Minnesota Avenue in Sioux Falls. If you could do something today that could save someone's life, would you do it? 
If it didn't cost you a dime and only took a little time and could literally save a life, would you do it? Can you believe that only 3% of people say yes to this? How is that possible? That's the real percentage of people who give blood. It's something you can do whether you're a millionaire, middle class, or completely poor. There's no fee and it's easy to do. And you can literally save a life. Let's roll up our sleeves and make a difference. Give blood. We can do better than 3%. Learn more at redcrossblood.org. And it's time right now for our Bright Spot of News, brought to you by Paul's Designer Showroom on Lake Lorraine and Sioux Falls. They can brighten any room with a beautiful light fixture. And we're going to brighten your day right now with some fun, fun news. We've got something coming up this weekend that always makes people smile. We have the Sioux Empire Home Show, and we have Adam Balding joining us. He is the show co-chair. He's also with Budget Blinds. How are you doing, sir? I am fantastic. How are you today? I am fantastic as well. Now, we've got the uh, the home show coming up. It's the Sioux Empire Home Show. This has been going on a few years now, isn't it? How, how long have they been doing this thing? The first show was in 1959. And they've kind of got it figured out. So they, they got this like down to a science, right? This year we have over 200 exhibitors. That is amazing. It's and when really pe- growing. When people come in, they can they can expect to find a lot of great ideas for their home and then also some things like for the yard as well, right? Yes. Uh, this year we have two new featured areas that are really highlighting the interior and the exterior. So what what would you say are some of the things that uh, are the must-see when people come out to the, the home show this year? Well, with 200 exhibitors, there is a lot of new new trends and products to see. And when people get there, uh, they can come out Friday or Saturday or Sunday, or if they want, they can come out more than once. Uh, but if, if you want to do it right, it's not one of those things that you're going to do in like five minutes, right? Correct. Yeah, it's open Friday and Saturday from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. and Sunday, 11 to 5. The cost is $7 per person, or like you said, you can get the, the three-day weekend van for $10. And this is something that we've been a part of, I don't know, I'd say as long as we've been around, so like 11 years that we've been in business, and I've been to it even before Sunny started. Um, it's it's always such a great event, and when you go there, if you go to the home show and you don't leave with some great ideas for something to do on your house, you did it wrong. <laughs> Definitely agree. Now, let's talk a little bit about where, where you are at Budget Blinds. Are you guys going to have a booth there at the home show as well? Yes, we are. What kind of stuff will you have at your booth? Um, we're going to be highlighting a lot of the new smart home automation with motorization, so you can control your shades with like Alexa um, or your, your Apple devices. And that is getting more and more popular, isn't it? It is very popular, and it's getting very affordable. Where When you used to say motorization, it, it was kind of scary because you thought it was very, very expensive. It, it's getting to where normal houses can, can put it in now. That's really cool. And that technology that we're getting more and more comfortable with, it makes our lives so dang much easier. Yes, it does. Now, as we look at the home show, again, it's coming up this weekend. Um, It's this Friday, this Saturday, this Sunday. How many people typically come through the Sioux Falls Arena and the the convention center during the home show? It's quite a few people, isn't it? Typically, it's around 10 to 12,000. And a lot of that probably depends on weather, and it looks like we're going to have great weather, so we can can expect a lot of folks to come out and enjoy it this year. It is going to be beautiful. And if people would like to get tickets to go, do they buy the tickets at the door? Do they get those tickets in advance? What's the best way to do that? Yep, you can get them at the door at the at the Sioux Falls Convention Center. And there's all kinds of parking there, so you can park uh, anywhere on the front, the back, all over the place, and then come on in and enjoy the home show. And again, this is uh, coming up this weekend. It's this Friday, this Saturday, and this Sunday. And if people would like to find more, there's a website they can go to as well, right? Yeah, you can head over to com. And when you get there, there's all kinds of information about the event that's coming up this Friday and Saturday and Sunday. Adam, thank you so much for taking the time to chat with us about this today. Thank you, John. And again, Adam is with Budget Blinds, and he is the Sioux Empire Home Show co-chair. We hope you'll come out and check it out. It's this Friday and Saturday, 10 a.m. till 8 p.m., and this Sunday from 11 a.m. till 5 p.m. Again, all of the information at hbasueempire.com. Do you have a credit card? Is it a pretty good one? Here's how you can tell. Take the details of your current card, the interest rates, points and perks, and compare them for free to the available offers at bettercreditcards.com. If we can offer you a better credit card, it could save you money every month. This will literally cost you nothing, and it could help you save money. Even if you don't have a credit card right now, you can still check it out at bettercreditcards.com. Do it today. BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. Now, ChannelSurferTV.com presents 
entertainment news of the day with Mr. Dan Ferris. Because you know what you love, Bob. I love it. Oh, you love it. <laughs> uh, let's see a couple things here. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, Kim Kardashian has, in fact, filed for divorce from Kanye West. That's just kind of sad. That is sad. Yeah. See what happens? Uh, married? What? He's crazy. Uh, she's crazy. Yeah. I thought they were the right kind of crazy nice. to just make it work. They were a pretty nifty crazy couple. Yeah, they were crazy together, which is nice. Uh, what else is going on? Recent interview with uh, Oprah Winfrey. Stevie Wonder has said that's it. He's done. He's moving to Ghana. What? Okay. He's moving to Ghana. Why? What's going on there? Well, let me just call him and find out. Oh, I don't know. I thought maybe he said something in a story about what was in Ghana. No, it's all based on he doesn't want his grandkids, oh, grad kids living in a country with all this racial injustice. Sure. Okay. Ghana. Because I know we America's been been pretty bad to Stevie, so. Well, I, I wish <gasps> you the best. I 25 gold well. records, multiple Grammys, multimillionaire. Sorry, Stevie. We did the best we could. Good luck in Ghana. Uh, but I like this because we are, you know, supposedly behind the scenes and Heidi's supposed to be in charge. We've been threatening to do it for quite a while, having a Tina Turner dance party. Yeah, yeah. what is going on And with or it? putting together a Pips cover band. Yeah. It could go Shit, either yeah. way. So w- when is this going to happen? Because you guys have been saying this for like a year now. That's, it's John, don't get nice angry weather. at me. we got to have it outside. Oh, this isn't something you just launch into. Right, you don't so just do Tina this Tina Turner sort of dance thing party. Thing so if we do this, would Tina Turner be there or no? Oh, yeah. No, she can't afford that to come. You don't know that for sure. She's got people, and here's the thing, and this is the reason I brought Tina up. And it's about darn time. The trailer is out. The HBO documentary film simply entitled Tina. Oh. And it looks pretty darn good. Does it really? She's pretty amazing. If you're not familiar with Tina's Tina's life, it is an amazing story. Yeah. It is an amazing story. That woman is a fighter. She's a go getter, too. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, I'll Hence to... the Tina Turner dance party. Exactly. Because you don't pay tribute hey, hey, like we'll... that to just anybody. We'll do that in conjunction with the movie opening. How's that sound? Ooh. Sound like a plan? Dan? I'm sorry, John. I wasn't listening. Dan was <laughs> so used to that. What? What did he say? Was we could do important? our... He said we'll have <laughs> no. the Tina Turner dance party in conjunction with the release of the movie. Oh, well, let's find out when it's out. <laughs> do you have it in the thing there? Sure I do. <laughs> right. uh, Tina will debut on HBO on March the 27th. No, we certainly oh, won't be ready by yeah, then. yeah, we won't be able to well, have an outdoor party. it doesn't then. necessarily cover her entire oh. life. In fact, this documentary will begin eh, approximately in the fall of 1981. Oh, wow. When she sits down oh. uh, for an interview with People magazine. But she does go back to her past. I mean, she, she was abandoned by her mother. I mean, yeah. she, she was married, yeah, to, she was married to Ike, totally abused yeah. for a number of years. Yeah. I mean, on and on. And, and man, she walked through a whole lot of fires and came out just, just being a, She's just awesome. a really powerful, cool, cool, exceptionally talented woman. So what an amazing voice and a very unique voice. And I've never, ever, never heard Tina whine. Yeah. And that's always a plus in my book. So. Yeah, that is awesome. So there you go. Just wanted to share that. And uh, She's not moving to Ghana. Yes. Uh, just... <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Wow. Yeah, Stevie, let me pack those bags for you. <laughs> you Sorry we did you wrong, buddy. <laughs> I just called to say, I, yeah, just go. Just go. Just, are we done here? <laughs> yeah. You know, I'm catching a, a little pattern here. Every day it's like this break goes at least a minute longer than it probably should have. <laughs> I, I, I apologize for that. I think it was hilarious, but Stevie did not see that coming. Oh, boy. <laughs> what? I'm moving on. You're listening to the John and Heidi Show Bonus Hour with Dan Ferris. Dan, thanks for coming in, man. Hey, uh, seriously, man, thank you for having me. I appreciate Absolutely. it. It's brought to you by ShopLocalSuFalls.com. I really need to give up drugs. I really need to quit drinking. It's not going to be easy, but we'd love to help. Addiction can drive away those who love you the most, and addiction can lead to the loss of jobs, relationships, and even your life. Don't let addiction tear your life apart anymore. Get the help you need to defeat addiction and put the pieces back together in your life. Learn more at timeforrehab.com. We want to help. Timeforrehab.com. That's timeforrehab.com. Here's your Market Beat Minute for Thursday, February 25th, 2021. Investors and traders got a double shot of good news from Fed Chief Jerome Powell's second day of testimony in Washington. In his comments, Mr. Powell both affirmed the need for more stimulus, 
while also indicating economic recovery is well underway. The pandemic is still a concern, as are high levels of joblessness, but the general outlook is positive. Add to that a lack of concern for the possibility of rising inflation, and it's no surprise the broad market S&P 500 gained 1%. Technically speaking, Wednesday's gains in the market is a bullish signal. The market made a solid move higher, confirming support at a key technical level, the 30-day moving average, which is a gauge of near-term sentiment and an indication of which direction short-term trade are placing their bets. With the moving average trending higher and support at the average confirmed, new all-time highs for the S&P 500 index are all but assured. You can get the inside track in your inbox daily at marketbeatminute.com.